Where's the outrage? There is absolutely no outrage that under the Biden administration that's shipping them money in the in the middle of the night and uh, unfreezing assets that allows them yep. and their proxies to attack Israel and they now achieve nuclear weapons capacity. So says the I, Iranians. Where's the I outrage? De- I, I, the outrage is right here with me uh, declaring Joe Biden officially the worst president in American history. I mean, what a POS this guy is, his administration. <laughs> so Trump said at the rally in New Jersey, which I don't know if you saw it, there were somewhere around 100,000 people in Wildwood, New Jersey, blue, blue, blue state of New Jersey. And if you remember Commissioner Joe Cilio from uh, South Jersey, the violent area, who was telling us that New Jersey is starting to move red, maybe yeah. he was right. But Trump said that if you add up the 10 worst presidents— in the history of the country, they don't equal <laughs> what Joe Biden has done to this yeah. country. I think the only the only thing comparable would be uh, who who uh, who brought us the Federal Reserve? Who was responsible for that? That guy we might that might, that guy might be the worst. But um, well, Alexander Hamilton, I think, brought us the central bank. And if Lord Benjamin is trying to is you know in the sidelines doing his computer gig <laughs> thing and about looking that stuff up again, uh, yeah. he can look it up. But but. Who brought us the Federal Reserve? I think that was a 20th century Great Depression thing, but I don't really know. So you have just stumped the stump master. I love it. I'm but, actually looking it up because Benjamin is behind my camera doing something, trying to get my attention. He's uh, behind your camera? Cannot, really? Yeah. He's, 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 so uh, he's cameraing what? you from behind? He's... He, Wow. He's, wow. <laughs> he said he's behind the camera. I'm like, he's cameraing you from behind. I'm like, okay. So um, it was Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson. I should have known that. There, 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 he was also a famous racist and uh, and uh, communist or Marxist and w- socialist. Woodrow whatever. Wilson was the first progressive president, you know, in the uh, in the annals, I think, of the country um it's sort of a barack obama protege but uh, er- erica where's yeah. the outrage the that outrage I, I don't know i don't wait that i i'm Can pretty sure tongue? we all called this when the bajillion gazillion didn't we cover this when they sent the bajillion dollars over and we were like oh in five minutes they're gonna have a nuclear war somebody is gonna have to go back and quote us well, you have to wonder on the delivery vehicle for a nuclear a nuclear weapon. So says uh, Chekhov in Star Trek. I forget how that <laughs> accent works, but uh, you know what? What's the delivery vehicle, and what happens if the Iron Dome intercepts a nuclear warhead? There's an interesting oh, question for you. Oh, well, considering the Biden administration waited into, until after Holocaust Remembrance Day to say that they were going to cut off aid to Israel, uh, we'll see if they have funding for the Iron Dome. Well, no, they said uh, they, they said were going to cut off offensive weapons, but right, I got it. You know, soon yeah. enough. So, uh, you know, so let's go back to the whole outrage thing. So I do want to okay. let's let's. I mean, there's so much serious, you know, unfunny stuff to talk about. But I have to tell yeah. you, as I look at, as I look through the news, you know, I always say that you know, you know, Tony Bennett, I left my heart in San Francisco. Yeah. And that, you know, I wanted to self-identify as, I don't know, some you know black lesbian from San Francisco to get right. some reparations money. Um, yeah. I now not only want to do that, but I want to move to San Francisco to get the free alcohol that they're giving. Oh, because, you heard because, about this. because if you're a homeless person in San Francisco, it's called the MAD program. Let's see if I got this right. Yeah. The, the Managed Alcohol Program. Yeah. Right is giving out free shots of vodka to homeless alcoholics. I love it. And, I and, love you, it. You know, in what kind of Alice in Wonderland world? I mean, I mean the left coast is a left coast, but it, but it's almost like up the down staircase. So, he, but because wait a minute, Here, here's their logic. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They said oh, by prescribing limited go. quantities of alcohol, the model aims to prevent potentially life-threatening effects of alcohol withdrawal. So, mm. so we don't want you to go through alcohol mm-hmm. withdrawal and get better because it's life threatening. Right. So better you right. should stay a drunk, and you we're going to give you free alcohol. They had <laughs> kegs set up. This is this is the best part, Robert. They had kegs set up in the lobby so that if you were part of the program, you could just walk in and pour yourself a beer. 
you know, one bourbon, one scotch and one beer uh, and then be be on your merry way at this is if they. Oh, good golly. If there is not more evidence of the anti-human nature of the left and these progressive policies, this is it. It is it is ensuring the but, miserable but, but, death of another human being. It, That's what it it's is. It's a non yeah, but 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 it's a non sequitur. I feel like I'm in Ayn Rand, right? Atlas Shrugged. So basically, you get a motel room, three meals a day, and enough alcohol, quote, to meet their addiction needs, close quote. And it's yep. run by the San Francisco Sobering Center. <laughs> just, That's like I, they they call I, things yeah. the opposite, right? This is what they do right. with the bills. They call it the opposite of what it is they're actually doing. This is yeah, I, outrageous. I, I, you know, Did you see the price tag on it, Robert? Did you see the price tag? Five, five mil. And how, five mil. You know, how many people right? did they tell them? Tell the audience how many people they served. Well, uh, it's a twenty bed program in the tenderloin district, which means if it's in the tenderloin district, so you get a steak with it too, right? I'll have my tenderloin yes. medium. Yes. Thank you very much. But it's just it's oh my the god, sixty five. No, Robert. They only get this. They only served 65 people in that entire well, what, time. Can I be 66? I want to be number 66. Five I mean, the beer, million I dollars. Wait, wait. I don't drink beer. Okay. For the record. Yeah. Uh, I, and I'm not a beer guy, but yeah. vodka. I mean, you know, well, the question is what kind of vodka? At least like well vodka. Oh, you know, no, you know, shelf. it's going to be it's that upset. bottom shelf, like in the giant plastic jug that. Well, not if I'm the going. worst hangover not, of your life. Not, not, not if I'm going there. By the way, here's the other thing. Said the manager. <laughs> oh, you're an uppity homeless person. Robert Chernin's going to be Belvedere. an uppity homeless person. Belvedere. Demand top shelf vodka. <laughs> Well, at least close to top shelf. They also said, quote, marijuana use is fairly common in our sites. And they said there's no policy prohibiting marijuana consumption. Oh, my God. So this These is like, people. I left my drugs in San Francisco. Uh, sorry. Had to, you know. <laughs> but so that's outrage. Number one, you just sit there and, it, you know, it's. And by the way, the, the best part about this is that five million dollars. Yeah is OPM other is people's, other people's money. money. So they're spending $5 million for, you know, how 65 or however many people to give yeah. them alcohol. So they don't go through the DTs so, mm -hmm. because they're, because if they go through withdrawals, it's going to be life threatening and therefore yeah. let's just keep you drunk. Oh, and by the way, if you have a joint or two, it's okay. I just sit there You're and good. go, these are well, your elected leaders. Yeah, and that's California sober, by the way, Robert. So if you Which, if you quit drinking and doing drugs except weed, that's called California sober. Well, wait a minute. If I quit doing drugs and or quit drinking, how would you say quit drinking and smoking weed or quit doing? I would then become sober, realize I was in California. And I didn't want to be there. And that would cause much more harm to my psychological well-being. I'm not sure about my physical well-being. And I'd need to get the <laughs> heck out of there. How's that? Here's my deal. Here's what I think. Here's what I think. These people have an over uh, or underlying need to continue their job. So what they really did was string along a bunch of drunks uh, for a few years with getting paid lots of money uh, to do it. Amazing to me. Amazing to me. So that's outrage number one, right? Where okay. WTO, where's the outrage? Oh, I love it. Out, I love outrage it. number two yeah. is the city of Denver, you know, a sanctuary city, is mm -hmm. now overrun with illegal immigrants that they mm -hmm. have to house. And last year, I think, I forget the mayor's name, but the mayor wanted to cut funding to, to police and other city services yeah. so they could provide more for the mm -hmm. illegal immigrants because now the illegal immigrants are who are in temporary housing and the city wants to move them to permanent housing. What do you think the illegal immigrants said? No. We said, we're not going unless you meet our 13 <laughs> demands. We're not going to permanent housing, right? They have 13 specific demands before, before they agree to the Denver Human Services request to leave the encampment and move to, quote, a permanent shelter funded by the city. These wow. demands include, wait, they include, you know, you know, if you're going to have demands, they include fresh 
culturally appropriate food, no time limit on showers, and free immigration <laughs> lawyers. <laughs> you, I, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Do you know how much um, an immigration lawyer costs? People spend so much money to come here as a legal immigrant. And you want, you come here. Look, look, I feel bad for these people. <laughs> they got, I get it. You, y'all got sold a bill of goods. Some, some butthole NGO told you that you could come here and that we were going to welcome you with open arms and it was going to be so easy and great. And then you got hosed by a cartel coyote person, probably got, you know, victimized even worse on your way here. Like, I get it. I'm sorry. But guess what? It's not my fault and it's not my responsibility well, to take care of you. Look, I, I look, first Nobody of asked all, you to come here, literally, I, I, no, except I, I, for Joe I, Biden. I hate to sound xenophobic because that's what the list, you know, some How people are going to accuse me of. But charity begins at home. And by that, I mean, let's take care of Americans first. We have that's so right. many other issues and problems, whether it's the fentanyl crisis, the drug addict, you know, opioid drug addiction issues, the homelessness, the real homelessness in this in this country. You know, there's so many other things, um, jobs, inflation. Um, there's just I mean, if, you name it. But what, but they basically is the said is. They said that if we don't get our demands met, we're not leaving. And by the way, yeah. I, I we're to, not leaving. So, so, so the demands. Oh, not so leaving he, the shelter. Yeah. They're not going to permanent. So we're going to spite you. We're going to stay at the impermanent place uh, uh, and have you pay for it rather than move us to. a. Per I mean, at the end of the day, you come to this country illegally, whether you were by, you know, coyote or mule or whatever illegally. And you are provided all these services and benefits for free. And now yep. you're making other demands that's to, of the city that is your host. And they said the following. Here's their demands in writing. Migrants will cook their own food with fresh, culturally appropriate ingredients provided by the city instead of pre-made meals. Rice, chicken, flour, oil, butter, tomatoes, onions, etc. Shower access will be available without time limit and can be accessed whenever Medical professionals' visits will happen regularly, and referrals connect. Oh wait! For oh, care. medical visits for the for the oh medical. Right. Oh, I can't demand. I can't demand that I get medical treatment. But you okay? I'm sorry for interrupting. Right. Keep going. I, Keep going. No, no more verbal or physical or mental abuse will be permitted from the staff, including no sheriff sleeping inside and monitoring twenty four seven. We are not criminals and won't be treated as such. Too uh, bad. Well, all, so well, so no, actually, you, you are a criminal. You are a criminal. <laughs> I just sit here and go. What are I you just, talking about? You you literally are a criminal alien. We just aren't allowed to right. say that anymore because it's uncouth. Well, look, you broke the law to enter this country. You're a criminal. You may not be a criminal convicted by a court of law because you're not being brought up before a judge because you're in a sanctuary city draining the city's ass. And look, I'm with you. I'm not heartless and we should do our best to provide, but at the expense of cutting back on the police. Yeah, no. Well, they cut everything. They cut tons of city services. They cut school stuff, young parks and rec. Um, they cut tons, millions and millions of dollars they cut from city services uh, and particularly hitting um, uh, particularly hitting um, low income neighborhoods. Um, that's the worst. But uh, what is that? Before we before we share the the fan fit the fan video, uh, oh you have a uh, fan video. What is we do? We got we, we have, had a fan. We have we a have fan. a fan. One we have we one have a fan whose name shall fan, remain nameless. And uh, he he sent us a compilation uh, uh -oh. for where's the outrage? What is the Bible verse that says like a man that doesn't take care first take care of his own house is worse than an infidel? First Timothy five eight. Oh, is that so? Wait, is that New Testament? He something about he who divides his own house shall inherit the wind. How am I doing? Oh well, there's that too. But the point there's mm -hmm. a there's a Bible verse that basically it says he who doesn't first take care of his own house is worse than an infidel, and and that's what it makes me think about with all of these things. Like Denver, you're not taking care of your already sick, poor, and suffering. What in the heck are you doing? And uh, and this this right here, 
this is how it makes us feel. W T O. Where's the outrage? Where's the outrage? The outrage over. Where's the outrage? 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 But where's the outrage? Where do we go from here? And folks, where's the outrage? Where's the outrage? Where's oh, yeah. the outrage? Where's the outrage? Where do we go from here? So yeah. my first outrage, sense of outrage. The outrage. Who did bang bang with bang bang? Outrage. W T O. The outrage, 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 the outrage. And on that note, thank you for being with us. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever that one fan is, thank you for that. I guess, I guess I'm a WTO guy, right? I just say it a lot. Yeah. I do it a lot. I think it a lot. I feel it a lot. So, Where do um, we go from okay. Here? Where do we go uh, from here? He says... That's what that's that's another comment we say. Where do we go from here? Well, I can so tell you good. where we go from here. We go to San Francisco to get the three free meals, the alcohol, <laughs> and the motel. Free room and board. <laughs> hey, I, you know, I'm moving from the East Coast to the West Coast. You know, I'll be number 66. You know, you got your kicks on Route 66. I'll be I'm San Francisco you. 66. I don't know why we try so hard. This is why I'm like, why do I run a business? Why do I work so hard? Why was I up working till like 11 o'clock last night? What? You know what? I should just go back to being a drunk and living on the street and getting free. Nah, I don't go there. Don't go there. So Ugh, no, so, I couldn't. So, I couldn't. So we, we ready for more outrage. I have a couple Let's more. Let's do know. it. Oh, you, you we do. I would just have. So, oh. so do you remember the Congressman from New York who pulled the fire alarm and then said he thought it was the door he was opening. Yeah. Jamal oh, Bowman. I, wasn't, so, I wasn't trying to interrupt a vote. So the squad member, you know, think Ilhan Omar, AOC, yeah. Ayanna Presley, Jamal Bowman, right, is the guy that, oh, I was, I thought it was the exit that I was pulling. Yeah. Okay. He was pulling something else, but it ended up being, the fire alarm turns out that Congressman Bowman has a secret YouTube channel, right? He's this moderate guy. They found this secret YouTube channel. Now, not only, I mean, he's part of the squad, right? So he's, he subscribes to all this anti-Semitic stuff, but he also <laughs> subscribes to the f channels that preach flat earth. The earth is flat and that the Illuminati are real. <laughs> this is now. So this is guys. This is your congressman in, I think it's Westchester. It's, it's, uh, I think it's so. LA. Been, okay. Um, so uh, wait. So wait. Let me make sure I have this straight. Right. The yeah. Jews rule a flat earth. No, according actually, according to Jew, Jamal Bowman. Black, no, black. No, no. Well, first of all, he subscribes to Farrakhan, Louis Farrakhan's channel. Oh, blacks are the, is he a black blacks Hebrew are, Israelite? Right. Blacks are the true do, Jews. So, I mean, I mean, you sit there and go, where, I mean, where's the outrage, <laughs> right? Where do you go from here with something like this? I mean, well, I thought it was the, the, the exit, you know, the, the exit, but I, you know, I pulled the fire alarm by mistake, which is a crock of crap. We both all That's know that, wild. but, but now, so, you know, so it's the inner, it's called the inner peace account. Let's see. He subscribes to Bowman channel, follow troves of accounts peddling, Bonker claims about aliens, flat earth theory, UFOs, and the Illuminati. These are the people making laws, folks. You well, wonder I mean, why things are so messed up? You sit here and you, you go, know, I don't get it. I mean, for, for you know, <laughs> let me, okay, let me play devil's advocate. Okay. You? Is that with Joe or without Rogan, pitchfork, I know. Pitchfork and tails. Pitchfork and tails? I'm, I'm saying, okay, Joe Rogan has on people who talk about flat earth and uh aliens and all that other stuff so are they is it like legit crazy people or because they could i mean they're trying to make joe rogan out to be a bad guy and he has all those people on his show too he has jamal bowman on the show congressman no alien people and flat earth people <laughs> come on he really? does he interviews everybody who's that guy that there's like there's like a guy. Who... So what I, the interview that I would like to see okay, is Bill Maher me. and Joe Rogan yeah. with each other. Has, has, That's has the. Been? Has, Bill Maher has so. to have been on Joe Rogan. 
Well, oh the my Lord God! Benjamin. All right, before that, before, yeah, we, go, look before we go to first break, my fourth and last, okay, WTO okay. Okay, for I'm the ready. show. Okay, I'm ready. So, you know how I have so many girlfriends in life, right? Mad Maxine is in the news again. <laughs> Maxine Waters, right? Mad Maxine, my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So, yep. She now claims that Trump supporters are training up in the hills for after the election. She goes, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask the Justice Department and I'm going to ask the president to tell us what they're going to do to protect our country against violence if Biden loses, because you can't trust anything Donald Trump says. And no matter if he loses, he's going to say it was a fraud. And he said, you know, and they're up in the hills training, <laughs> they're attacking this country. And he's talking about perhaps a bloodbath, which, by the way, the bloodbath oh, was it. Oh, that's so, they're so right? stupid. Uh, the bloodbath was the electric cars in Mexico are going to create a bloodbath <sighs> in the auto industry, folks. Oh, my um, God, I hate perhaps her gonna so be much. Trouble. She's so awful. Uh, that She's they're training so awful. Up some... Yeah, but. This is the so... lady. Wait, wait, but, Robert. By the way, this do, is you, the do you know lady... what state? Do you know what state she's from? California. Which has something in common with what? San Francisco and vodka. So maybe she was one of the homeless people who were in the alcohol program that got away and made her way to Congress. What do you think? I, can't, I mean, I can't, you think I can't. Oh, you, <laughs> you think I'm on to something? Come on. I can't even right now with you. Come on. I even. <laughs> but 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 you sit here and you go, I mean. This is like an Alice in Wonderland thing, right? You're like, yeah, but you know, you expect, no, dude. This is this is the same lady who was telling everybody to go out into the streets and harass people and harass Trump supporters and har and like, Let's don't let them have peace. Right. By, by the way, being being you know being Bobby that I am, I have that exact quote, and she said it many times. But here's her quote. Let's make sure we show up whenever we have to show up. And if you see anybody from the cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them and you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. And anywhere. you know what? You know what happens when you when and you pull wait, a crowd, wait, a wait, mob? Wait, let, me, let me finish because the last sentence is we've got to go. We've got to go get their children connected to their parents so so <gasps> go after the kids no too. she didn't i'm looking at the quote i'm looking at it <gasps> so there is a serious what side to this folks person but, she is she's such a right i mean you know <sighs> not to mention the other quote we've got to stay on the street and we've got to get more active and we've got to get more confrontational we've got to make sure that they know we mean business so if that's not a call to violence right so the trump supporters so that means you and i have to go to the hills and start training because you know you know we're one of those i mean i'm sure we're one of the sort of the redneck you know oh yeah uh, you know militia oh, we're you know. we're definitely the problem so trump supporters training up in the hills for an election attack and again no accountability no consequences, no outrage. So am I the only one that is outraged by that? That that that's become an acceptable norm, right? No. Especially within the Democratic Party. So the Democratic Party is, um, is frankly so far left. You even have guys like Joe Manchin who have said that the Democratic Party has to now start getting responsible and assume responsibility. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, he says that the, the Republican Party has to become grand again, which I don't know quite what that means, but it used to be called the grand old party. Um, but I just sit there and go, where's the outrage? You know, there is a theme here, right? The ludicrous San Francisco feed them vodka. Uh, you know, let them let them drink vodka, she said, just like Marie Antoinette, to coin a phrase. That's why we started with the best of times, worship times, by the way. It does feel like a, you know, <laughs> Charles Dickens novel. Um, but there's a connection between San Francisco serving them vodka, right? Mm -hmm. The pro-immigration, pro-sanctuary city, or a pro-illegal immigration, pro-sanctuary city, uh, defy the law, federal law of Denver that's being hoisted on their own petard with Jamal Bowman, who is the New York congressman who, you know, uh, basically um, is, you know, what would you say, a conspiracy theorist for real on the oh, other yeah. side and, and flatline. Mm -hmm. And then you have sort of this uh, left-wing irrational, hate-mongering, um, violent in, in, um, instigating Maxine Waters, and all of that is okay. 
Mm. So forget about each of these individually. Where's the outrage? 